Well, folks, it's that time of year. Snow is falling and the lights are up. No matter what holiday you celebrate, there's a new one this year. And it's for everybody. But most importantly, it's for gamers, baby. The holidays are all about spending time with your family. But it's nice to spend some time with your friends these days. Gamer Nights is all about getting some friends together and just playing some games. And today, to celebrate a Gamer Gamer Nights, we're going to be talking about a holiday game. One that is arguably the greatest holiday video game of all time. I mean, there's not a lot that you can think of off the bat. There's like, Home Alone, and there's Elf Bowling, I guess. Holiday games are kind of hard to define. They can go from being, you are Santa, do this, or they can be, it's just December. And I think that that's where the best holiday games come from. They don't lean on Christmas or things around it to be a big part of it but they help create a mood and a feeling of Christmas. And like any kind of game, it definitely has its highs and lows. There are games like Spider-Man Miles Morales, Donkey Kong Country 3, and Yakuza 5. But then there's also Christmas Clicks, uh, the Trolls game on DOS, Jazz Jack Rabbit, and the bird dating game. But there's one game that towers above them all, and it truly is the greatest Gamer Nights game of all time. And I think we both know what I'm talking about. And that's James Pond 2 Robocod. Look at him, he's beautiful. Look at James Pond. James Pond 2 Robocod, which is also known as Super James Pond, was released in 1991 for the Amiga, Atari ST, and the Sega Genesis. And through the years, it made its way through the consoles, from the Game Boy in 1992, to the SNES and Game Gear in 1993, to the GBA in 2003, to the DS in 2005, and to the PlayStation 2 in 2006. It's safe to say that James Pond has been around. All in all, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Shit, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are 15 different versions of James Pond 2 Robocod. James Pond 2 was a sequel to the game James Pond Underwater Agent, which, believe it or not, is a parody of the James Bond series. The classic platformer saw James Pond fight Dr. Maybe from filling the oceans with toxic waste. And our hero, James Pond, is a mutated mudskipper who has a gun. James Pond 2 Robocod takes place after the end of the first game, in which Dr. Maybe has gone to the North Pool and has taken control of Santa's workshop, where he is holding Santa's penguins hostage. And in this game, James Pond is given a robotic suit, which makes him real strong and fast, and also lets him do this. Oh. So, now that you're all caught up on the Oscar-worthy Gamer Night story, let's talk about the gameplay. How does the game- how is it? Is it good? Of course it is, it's James Pond 2, you f- James Pond can do a lot of things. The gameplay of James Pond is what you'd expect. So, perfection. You can move around, you can jump, and you can- And the level design is impeccable. Who could forget the one where it's- Bears and fuzz? The one where it's cheese. The level design in this game is absolutely perfect. And by perfect, I mean not very good. For some reason, the game's levels are so spread out that it's really, really hard to tell wherever you're supposed to make a jump. Like in the cheese level, when you get over here, there's a moving platform and a drop. If you fall down, you would expect that it might just be a floor or a platform that you would land on, but it's actually spikes. And then the spikes don't bounce you up high enough, so you just kind of die. The game looks weird. I'm not saying it looks bad, but... It just doesn't feel like they knew what they were trying to do when they made these levels. Like, again, uh, look at this. Look at this. Why? The level design is confusing to the point where you are just taking leaps of faith into spaces that are just gonna kill you. The main special mechanic of the game is that James Pond can And he does so until he reaches a thing that he can grab on, which he can climb across areas with. But his speed while he's climbing is so insufferably slow that... You just don't even want to do it most of the time. The bosses are just confusing and hard to understand. Like, if you hit this guy directly on the head, you hurt him, but if you touch him just slightly to one side, boom, you get hurt. 
And let me tell you about the sound design, baby! It is impeccable. You better not get bored of this one song. That plays for the whole game, and it does not stop unless you die. James Pond 2 is not a good video game, but I would say that it is a great game for gamer nights. Get some of your friends together and you can have a good time just playing a stupid bad game. Of course it isn't good, but would you really want it any other way? This year has been a weird one. Thanks for watching this and probably also subscribe because it's cool. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Happy New Year and have a gamer gamer nights.